Well guys, it is almost 11 o'clock. I have to be up in about five hours. So, um, it's almost 11 o'clock and I got to be up in five hours. So, I was just going to come on before I lay down and um, tell you that I, as always, God always makes me calm the night before. Um, and I'm pretty calm. Uh, I'm going to get in the bed. I had to get something. My blood sugar was going low, so that's why I'm still up. But um, I'm going to be waking up but actually at 4. So um, my surgery is at 5.45, I believe. So um, when I wake up, if I think about it and, you know, everything, I will just kind of come on here and jot on real quick. So... But that's it for now. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Yeah. Well, here I am in all of my four o'clock glory. I thought I would just pop on here and say that I believe early morning is the devil. <laughs> but I'm um, getting ready. Which is basically just putting clothes on and brushing my teeth. So, um, and then we'll be headed out. So, see y'all again in a little while. Nope. Um, I'm not gonna lie, this is absolutely painful. It's the worst. The absolutely worst. They gave me fentanyl and it didn't even help. <laughs> well, this is about, let's see, 7.03 at night. I woke up um, in some severe pain and um, was able to drink something. I uh, took some pain pills, some Zofran, um, a little something for my anxiety, um, and, uh, got in the bathtub, um, oh, I also had to take a gabapentin, because I'm having that nerve migraine again, and that is, just to be quite honest, will make you want to blow your brains out, um, but this is, this is pain I have not felt. But right now, I got out of the bathtub, you know, and cleaned off as best I can. I could clean off here, but he's got a stent in here and took my, um, my, uh, I have a deviated septum. So what he did was cut my deviated septum and to try to fix the collapse and then stuck a stent in there to try to keep it from popping down. And then he moved in and moved this together so I wouldn't have like a gigantic bald spot which that's new hair so um I'll check in with y'all periodically um hopefully I'll will feel a lot better my sweet husband is taking good care of me he's a good man um and uh and I appreciate any of you who've prayed for me or thought about me um and I just ask that you continue to do that. I really appreciate it. Um, I'll probably post maybe many videos. Um, you know. Uh, so they won't be so long and drawn out. Um, as you see, I don't think I'm going to get to go to uh, church for Easter. And we have an Easter Saturday thing. In the morning and I, uh, I um, Saturday morning and I just I, I hurt really bad I'm having that that um, nerve migraine so um, this is this is a whole different thing the way it hurts I mean don't get me wrong it's hurt it was horrible before but this is worse and he also went and fixed this there was a knot in here um, 
Uh, and so I think it was because there was a, a, um, so he's a spy. He's a, my husband's talking to me about a, a movie, uh, but it was because it was a undissolved stitch that was in there and it caused a knot and he went in to fix that, um, uh, too, and tried to help with this collapse. So anyway, I will update y'all. Well, later date.